Um, so I'm Brittany Holbert and I am the program director here at Feed NC. When we started with the pantry program, um, we realized there was a greater need. There was people who still needed the food but were unable to get here physically. So we, we found these pockets of poverty where people were unable to get their food because they weren't able to get here. So they were pretty much not getting any food at home. Um, so we tried to figure out a way to you know, serve these people. How can we get food out to them? So we kind of brought about this program where volunteers will come and they'll come shop the pantry and every week we'll go to the houses, um, to the homebound individuals to provide them their groceries for the week. So our food movers population um, is a, any homebound individual in our servicing area. So homebound um, could be for a couple different reasons. Um, it could be they have a phys physical disability, um, they're unable to drive, um, whether they're elderly and unable to drive. We have individuals who are amputees, double amputees, um, in wheelchairs, so we, we do take care of a lot of people in the community. So it is a once a week commitment, um, about one to two hours, depending on how many people, families you want to serve. Um, so we usually start everyone out, off with one family. Um, so you would come in and we operate Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 10 or from 12 to 1. So as a food mover, they, you'd be able to come in and shop the pantry for your families and then you would take the foods to them and deliver it to their household. So you would do that every week, um, usually the same time and day every week, but we do have flexibility for people who have busier schedules. So if you need to switch that up, um, we do allow for that as well. Before assigning volunteers to food mover recipients, Feed NC staff goes out to the home to vet both the home and the guest. Um, I think the perfect volunteer for the food movers position would really be someone who just wants to connect with people, um, who really feels that they want to make a difference in someone's life and wants to, you know, really change the way someone's living. We, we implemented new stuff in our program where we're offering healthier alternatives. People are able to pick different foods for if they have different diseases. So it's, it's really people that want to get to know these people, want to get to help them in their situation and really you know, make them feel loved and make them feel important. Because a lot of the homebound people, they're not really getting out of the house. They're not seeing people. And uh, we want to you know, make sure that they still know that they're important and they're loved and they're healthy. And you know, we want to take care of them. So someone who wants to essentially take care of someone for an hour a week. I have four clients, I call them, I guess. Yeah. And three of them are in one apartment, so it's easy, and then one of them is separate. And they really rely on this food. Yeah. And because I guess all of them are, they can't go shopping. Mm -hmm. They don't have anybody to go shopping for them. So wow. this really helps them. The food is wonderful? Yes. And I'm so glad I have something. I love this program. Yeah. I love the lever. <laughs> you know, at the beginning they give you a list because most of them have some condition and then you learn what to take mm -hmm. for them. Some stuff they don't like it. Frozen food they, they, they don't use it. Some yeah. of them, some of them they do. So it's all it depend and you kind of develop a relationship with them. So then you you get to know them, see what they like, what they don't like, and all of that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It can be as much or as little interaction as you and the guest feel comfortable with. Um, if you have a guest that specifically just wants you to drop off the box of food, and especially now with everything with COVID going on, a lot of people don't want other people in their homes, which is completely understandable. So it could it could be as little as just bringing the box um, of food to the family or as much as, you know, going in and kind of helping with little chores around the house. And that's completely up to, you know, every volunteer and guest combination is unique. So there is a, you definitely do build like a real connection with the family you're shopping for because, you know, you'll see Miss Betty every week and you'll pick up a box of groceries and this week, you know, now you know Miss Betty doesn't like tomatoes, so you're not gonna bring her tomatoes, but she loves dark chocolate. So you wanna make sure you get her dark chocolate, you know. We just have so many amazing programs and along with those programs there's amazing opportunities uh, for people at all different levels. Um, if you just want to come in and help out for a couple hours a day or if you really want to come in every week for a couple hours and you know get into something big like the Food Movers program and you know commit to volunteering to a family every week and learn them and you know take them in and love them. It's, it's really cool to be able to help people in need and you know meet different people and learn their stories along the way. <laughs>